Hello and welcome to Baggins Book Summaries. In this episode, we'll be concluding our delightful journey through the world of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. We last left Bilbo and Gandalf after they had departed Bjorn's house on their way back to Bilbo's home and pick up on the final chapter, encapsulating the themes of homecoming, beauty, and the enduring nature of stories. Bilbo and Gandalf have finally arrived at the edge of the beautiful valley of Rivendell, where the last homely house stands. The weary travelers are greeted by the ethereal sounds of elven voices singing in the trees, continuing a melody that seems uninterrupted since Bilbo's departure. As they descend into the lower glades of the wood, the elves begin singing a similar song, celebrating the defeat of the dragon and the persistence of life in the valley. The surroundings come alive with growing grass, swaying leaves, and flowing water, reminding Bilbo and Gandalf of the beauty and comfort that await them. Upon reaching the house of Elrond, the weary duo shares tales of their adventures, with Gandalf revealing his visit to a council of white wizards who expelled the necromancer from Mirkwood. As the night progresses, stories are exchanged and Bilbo dozes off, only to awaken in a white bed to the sound of elves singing by the stream. The elves' joyous song celebrates the beauty of nature, while a lullaby soothes Bilbo back to sleep, eagerly anticipating the arrival of dawn. When Bilbo awakes, he engages in playful banter with the elves, expressing gratitude for their lullaby. Having slept deeply and feeling refreshed, he grows increasingly homesick. After bidding farewell to Elrond, Bilbo sets off on the final leg of his journey with Gandalf. As they leave, the weather turns stormy, but Bilbo interprets it as a symbol of returning to reality. They reach the river, cross it, and continue on foot through the lush green land, relishing the warmth of the summer weather. Memories of their previous adventure flood Bilbo's mind, and he even stumbles upon the hidden treasure of the trolls they encountered. Finally, they catch sight of Bilbo's own hill in the distance, and his heart swells with the familiarity and a deep sense of belonging. However, upon their return to Hobbiton, Bilbo and Gandalf are met with chaos. Bilbo's house is in disarray due to an auction selling off his belongings as the hobbits had presumed him dead. Convincing everyone of his return proves to be a challenging task, and Bilbo finds himself having to buy back some of his own possessions. Despite the damage to his reputation, Bilbo remains content. He keeps his magic ring a secret, and uses his wealth to shower others with gifts. Bilbo's happiness is evident as he spends his days writing his memoirs and receiving visits from old friends like Gandalf and Balin, who update him on the prosperous state of the lands around the mountain, with rebuilt towns and newfound harmony among elves, dwarves, and men. We also learn about the fate of the old master of Lake Town, who fell victim to the dragon sickness, stole the gold, and died of starvation in the waste deserted by his companions. However, the new master proves to be a wiser leader, credited with the town's current prosperity. Bilbo and Gandalf discuss the fulfillment of prophecies, acknowledging that Bilbo's adventures were not a mere chance, but part of a larger design. Bilbo, humbled and grateful, thanks Gandalf, and shares a light-hearted moment by offering him his tobacco jar. In the final chapter of The Hobbit, Tolkien explores themes that resonate with the human experience. The yearning for home, the beauty of nature, the enduring power of stories, and the recognition that our lives are intertwined with the larger tapestry of events all find expression in Tolkien's vivid composition. Bilbo's journey from a comfortable home to the unknown, and his subsequent return with changed perspectives, echoes the classic hero's journey motif. Through his encounters with various creatures and the triumphs and challenges he faces, Bilbo undergoes personal growth and transformation. His longing for home reflects a universal desire for a sense of belonging and familiarity. The vivid descriptions of nature in this chapter highlight Tolkien's ability to infuse the natural world with enchantment and wonder. The singing of the elves, the brightness of the stars, and the comforting fire in the hearth evoke a deep appreciation for beauty and solace that can be found in the natural realm. Furthermore, the final chapter emphasizes the power of stories and their ability to shape our understanding of the world. Bilbo and Gandalf reflect on the fulfillment of prophecies and the role that Bilbo played in the larger narrative. This discussion invites us to ponder the notion of fate and the interconnectedness of our own lives with grander events. Overall, The Hobbit transports us to a realm filled with beauty, adventure, and a profound sense of longing. Tolkien's skillful storytelling allows us to explore timeless themes and contemplate the power of home, the splendor of nature, and the significance of our individual stories within the greater tapestry of existence. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Baggins Book Summaries, and as we come to the end of our remarkable journey through the chapters of The Hobbit, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude for your support and engagement. 
From the peaceful lands of the Shire to the perilous depths of the Lonely Mountain, we've together explored the captivating world of Middle-earth. However, our adventure does not conclude here. Be sure to subscribe and enable notifications as we continue to unravel the secrets and essence of other literary treasures. From epic sagas to enchanting tales, our journey through countless pages will ignite our imaginations and spark meaningful discussions. Thank you for being a part of Baggins Book Summaries, and please share your thoughts and suggestions for future summaries in the comments below. Until our next chapter, happy reading!